Everybody loves a 99 cent store hack. We bought three items, five bucks. We're gonna transform them into something really cool, a little farmhouse, spring transitioning to summer. We took this little tin and I sanded it down. So this is what the whole thing looked like before. It was bright and shiny like this, but we only did the outside, we aged it up. With toilet bowl cleaner, we'll put the link above. You ready to craft? I'm ready to craft. All right, so this was $1.99. It came with wheels, we don't need those. It's already stained, so I'm just gonna dry brush it. And while I'm dry brushing it. I'm gonna be using the mint chip on the gnome. This gnome is going green. I'm using White Swan and my zipper brush, Zeb is using the Paint Pixie because that has a ton of detail. So the Paint Pixie is good to get down in there. He's got like this fake fur on him. It's supposed to be moss, I think. We're painting over moss. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that, but we are. So I have my zipper paint brush and my DIY White Swan and I'm just getting off most of the paint and then I'm coming back and just dry brushing the white on there to give it an aged effect. All right, this gnome is going mint chip here. And this is the hard part, you know, you just paint him mint chip, done. I think maybe don't get it in all the details. I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe go a little drier down here. We might have to come back in wet distress. Yeah, that's what I was planning on doing. Okay. So I'm also dry brushing this tin with White Swan over the top of the oxidized finish that we did. All right, I'm finishing up dry brushing. One thing is once you start dry brushing over this oxidized finish, you're gonna get some of that brown oxidized finish on your brush. So be careful not to double dip in your paint or else you're gonna get brown in your paint. So it's kind of a one and done. If you think you need more, just pour it out. It just adds character. character. It's like automatic bleed through and aging in your white paint. It's a patina. Yep. An oxidized patina. Yep. All right, I'm gonna show you this. See that? Looks pretty good. All right, hurry up, paint this bum. You think I should dry brush this? I don't know. You got that good dirty brush right there. We're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna take the same brush, I've got a little bit of the white in the lid and we're just gonna come across and dry brush them. Worst case scenario, we just wash it all off. You want some, you want some mint on there? You're, you're dry brushing mine. Look at the face. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Do it. <laughs> oh, you gave the greatest face right there. Well, that was the way I thought about that. I mean, maybe it would look good. All right, let's bring this home. All right, I'm, I'm dry brushing. Jill, give me a second. Does the gnome go in here? No. What's, the, what's this for? Wait, oh, you have a plant to go in here? I'm going to make it. Well, not from the 99 cent store, but... So some of the oxidized got from my paintbrush onto my gnome and gave it a cool aged effect. We're coming back at you with a finished project and our sign out, so don't leave because you're going to want to see this all put together. So we used like, what, two ounces of paint? Not even that. I mean, it was literally dry brushing. Yeah, it really doesn't take a whole lot of paint to do this. This is what we got for $5. It needed something in here, so I stole this from my centerpiece. This That's is from Ikea. That's from Ikea. Bam, done. You could even like add something else in there, but I think it's pretty cute. Looks like some old barn wood with a gnome and a rusted planter. Jack's probably going to want to play with this and take it all over the house. It's cement, so it's not going to survive. <laughs> we used mint chip, white swan, a paint pixie brush, and our round zebra. And you can buy all of those items to get this look at jamierayvintage.com. Did you enjoy crafting today? Yes, I love crafting, especially little gnomes. That's my favorite. You're a crafty guy. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to hit that notifications button so you don't miss our next DIY. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIYs.